All right, today we have a controversial topic. We have HuntStand, we have Onyx. So I'm gonna dive pretty deep into both of them and look at all the nitty gritty and compare a lot of things between the two different apps. And I plan on buying one or the other for hunting this fall. So let's get right into it. So first of all, we have Onyx Hunt. Um, I'm gonna open up the app and just look at the map quality. So neither of these are the premium version of the apps yet. Um, but I have had the free trial on both apps, so I do know what the full features of both of these apps look like. All right, so here we have Onyx opened up to a random piece of property. I have no idea even where this property is. And so you can see the quality of the map. Everything has a light greenish tint to it. So let's just zoom in here on this corner. You can see how the edges are kind of pixelated. Um, it's not super clear. Um, you can't you can see the trees but everything kind of seems to run together so now we're gonna go over to hunt stand open hunt stand up and we're gonna go to the map editor so here we have a another field corner you can see that the quality of these maps are a lot better the colors are a lot better there's not that greenish tint over everything and everything is like super clear in hunt stand so let's just zoom in here again on this corner and if you notice, you can see how the trees are a lot more distinct than what they were in Onyx. So right away, that's one huge thing you're gonna notice when you open up both apps is HuntStand definitely has an edge on Onyx when it comes to the quality of their maps. They both have measuring tools for distance as well as a area by dropping dots and then you can see how much area is inside of it. Both of these apps also have a tracking feature that allows you to set your phone on track and walk wherever and then you can pull off the app and see where exactly where you are. So that's super nice if you're trailing a deer or if you're grid searching for a hit deer or whatever you're doing, that can be super nice. So now let's get into the layers and here is where you're going to see a pretty decent sized difference between HuntStand and Onyx. So up here we have the layers at the top and since I don't have the pro version you can't actually use a lot of these till you have the pro version or the free trial. So you have hybrid, which is what I have it in right now. And then you can, both of the apps have property info. Um, both have hunting land, public land. They have a lot of different stuff, tree cover, um, just a lot of different stuff in hunt stand. So if we go over here to on X and swipe up, you can see all the different layers. There's a layer library and they have all kinds of different stuff and all of these different things you can turn on. So if we go down here to Ohio, where we're at, right here. And then we have Ohio hunting boundaries, Ohio possible access, Ohio AEP recreational lands. There's all kinds of different layers and Onyx. So a lot of these layers seem to be kind of useless for the everyday hunter. And I think for the most part, HuntStand would have all the layers that you would ever need in an app. But just having those other options of layers is nice to have. Even though Onyx can seem to be a little bit confusing with their layers, I'm gonna give them the upper hand on the layers. Both of these apps have offline maps, which I have never used, so I really cannot tell you a lot about the offline maps. So if you're in Onyx, you can go to My Content, and you can select all your waypoints and all, all of your different stuff. So Onyx does not have a ton of tools. Uh, if you open up their thing on the bottom, has line distance, area shape, which I was talking about earlier, and you can add a photo to a specific spot, which is pretty cool. Um, I really don't know how much you would use that, except maybe if you're scouting and you find a rub or a really good area, you drop a pin where you're at and then add a panorama of where you're at or something like that. You can add a waypoint, which kind of expected, and you can mark my location, which adding a waypoint, and it has a wind calendar, which I really don't know how many people would actually use a wind calendar. I know there's a lot of hype around that type of stuff, but I, I have something that I like better in HuntStand that I'll show you just soon. So in HuntStand in the bottom, you see we have harvest, sightings, trail cameras, and reservations at the bottom. So let's click trail cameras, and of course we have an ad because we have the free version. And that'll bring up all the pins for my trail cameras, which is right there. It's the same thing with sightings and harvest, which is cool. So HuntStand's tools are set up on the right hand side which seems to simplify it um, as far as like the line measuring distance where you harvested a deer or anything and um, also their tracking feature. So now let's compare adding pins on HuntStand and Onyx. 
So in hunt stand, let's say we want to put a tree stand right out here on this on the corner of this field. I'm going to click add and then drop a waypoint and then wherever we want to put that tree stand or trail camera, whatever you want. Let's say we want it right there. And then click save. And then up here you have multiple different stuff. You have hang on stand, bait, all, all that type of stuff, funnel, pinch point, shed, bed, tracks, rub, whatever. So let's say this one, we want to have a hang on stand. We'll put hang on stand, hang on stand, and then just save it. And now it looks like that right there on our peninsula. So now if you tap on it, it says hang in stand because I spelled hang on stand wrong. And uh, there you go. That is how you drop pins inside of Hunt Stand. Now let's head on over to Onyx and see how you drop pins. So now that we're in Onyx, let's say we want to put a pin right here um, at this field edge. I'm going to tap once where we want the pin, and then it'll bring up the exact lo latitude and longitude. And then if you scroll up, it shows you the weather, which is kind of creepy. If you want to add a pin, click Add Waypoint. And then here, you can select if you want just a normal X or turkey. And this is one thing I really like about Onyx is it has a lot more options. Hunt Stand has fairly limited, basically the essentials. Um, has a ton. Um, like just scrolling through here, you can see cr crossing, cow, elk, coyote, doe, dog, dove, ducks, elk. All of these different things that you can mark. And then you can color code them. And then you can add your notes down here at the bottom. So that's... One thing I definitely like about Onyx more than Hunt Stand is that you have so many more options for your pins. Um, you can customize your pins a lot more than what you can in Hunt Stand. So Onyx and Hunt Stand both have weather, somewhat the temp, wind, that type of stuff. Hunt Stand, you can go out three days. You can see the peak wind speed and the highs and lows in Hunt Stand um, hour by hour for three days. And then they have a five day as well. If I'm going to look at normal weather, I'm not going to go to hunt stand to see what the weather is. But if I'm in hunt stand anyway, I might check it just to see what the wind is for the next couple of days. The feature that I really like about hunt stand and use by far the most is their hunt zone. So you have to go back and click on hunt zone. And there we go. So let's say we want to hunt this stand right here. If we want to hunt Tuesday morning. We can go click Tuesday right here. You can see the wind is going to be a little faster that day. Um, looks like about up to 15 miles an hour. At the bottom, you can see it starts at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10, 11, 12, 1. So just by looking at this hunt zone chart, you can see, hey, the wind is going to be perfect for that stand. This has simplified stuff a ton because if it says northwest wind or west or southwest wind, you don't have to worry about if that's a southwest wind or not. You just pull up hunt stand, look, tap on the tree stand that you're thinking about hunting, that can also tell you if the wind goes bad all of a sudden at a certain time you can say hey I can hunt till 10 o'clock this morning and then I gotta get out because the wind's gonna be bad. So this is by far the feature that I used that I use in hunt stand the most and that predictor goes out um, 72 hours. So you can know about three days in advance what the wind should look like the day that you're hunting. And I found this to be super accurate. I've literally been sitting in that stand that I just showed you and the wind is going exactly where the hunt zone indicator said it would be. So originally when I came into this, I was thinking, you know, I'll probably get on X, but right now after having looked at both of them, I really think I'll probably end up going with hunt stand this fall just because I'm hunting one state. On X costs 30 bucks for one state, but if you get nationwide, it costs a hundred bucks. Hunt stand also costs 30 bucks for the entire United States. If I'd be going out west this year, I would definitely get on X over hunt stand. But since I'm hunting whitetails in one state, I'm planning on going with hunt stand just because it has what I need. It has really high quality maps and I really think it'll get the job done. So in my opinion, it seems kind of like Onyx is made more for Western hunters and hunt stand is made more for whitetail hunters. So I really want to hear your comments and see what you guys are using, what you think of both apps. If you have any other apps that you love, let me know what you guys are using. And if you enjoyed this video, it would help us out a lot if you subscribe and like. And we just started an Instagram page a couple weeks ago, so make sure you go and follow that to stay updated. It's crazy to think, but deer season for us is nine weeks away. For most of Ohio, it's 11 weeks away. There's a special season in Ohio this year, certain areas. So you'll probably find out more about that once it's over, probably sometime in September. But it's crazy to think deer season is nine weeks away. We have a lot of stuff we need to do yet. We got some 
tree stands to hang out and some cameras to check, some bucks to pattern. So get out there, get after it and enjoy your day.